Howdy y'all, Andy McCabe here with Claims Delegates and your Restoration Rebel Leader. Hope y'all doing well on a Thursday. I want to talk about boiling frogs. I want to draw an analogy between a pot of boiling frogs and the current state of the restoration industry. Let me explain. You know, if you take, a, take some frogs and put them in a cold pot of water, what are they going to do? Some of them are going to jump out, but some of them are just going to chill. Like, hey, it's water. I'm cool with it. And you take, you take that pot of water and you put it on the stove and just turn on the heat just a little bit. Well, the frogs are just chilling, mind their own business, happy as, well, frogs in water. Turn the heat up a little bit more turn the heat up a little bit more. If you increase the heat uh, slow enough, gradually enough, you can boil a frog alive and it won't jump out because it doesn't feel the temperature change. It just all of a sudden it realizes, damn, I'm boiling and I'm dead. Well, Right now, contractors and restoration contractors are dying. We're being boiled. And most of us don't realize how we got here. And I was thinking over the last couple days, I've been trying to make this video for about three days, just going through in my head here. And I've actually got some notes. So, put your seatbelts on, yo. It occurred to me, Back, I don't know, 16 years ago, the first time that heat started getting cranked up, I got a phone call from a state farm adjuster. It says, hey, uh, I got your estimate here, and uh, I need you to remove the openings. And I was just getting started. Uh, I, I learned exact. I didn't go to an Xactimate class. I, it was school of hard knocks. I learned Xactimate as I went. I had a couple mentors, I had a couple project manager estimators ahead of me that would teach me a trick or two, but essentially is just go out and do it. You know, here's a deep end, jump in, learn how to swim. So this adjuster says, uh, I need you to take out the openings. I'm like, what? <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, he had to walk me through a sketch and go put a door in and then go to the properties and, and go down to, oh, remove opening. Well, what was that for? I had no idea. Well, what it was for, if you don't know, when you put a door or a window in a room and Xactimate, you can have the calculations automatically deduct the square footage of that door or window and deduct the linear footage of that doorway from the measurement of the perimeter of the room. And at the time, I was like, why? What? Who cares about two and a half foot of baseboard? It's not going to make a difference. It's, we're talking about a $4 difference in my estimate. So naturally, I said, fine, okay. Well, that was just the first little tick the first little thing and and a lot of how the heat has been turned up in this industry on us is is us giving these things away because what was happening before they started insisting that openings were taken out well we went about our day we wrote an estimate we came up with a budget we got an agreed scope and agreed cost with the insurance company and we did the work and we did decent work and we did made decent margins and we led a decent life well now it is harder and harder and harder to make margins it's harder and harder and harder to do decent work for indecent wages and the reason is more and more things have been taken away here are here are some of the ways that we are in boiling water now we are boiling and we need to jump out and that is what the restoration 2.0 movement is all about 
we've got to get ourselves out of this water. But before we can get ourselves out of this water, we've got to realize we're in the water. So where are we at? Three trade rule. What is that? That's just bogus. Oh, well, you can't have overhead and profit on your estimate unless there's three or more trades. Who made that up? I didn't make that up. The exact mate sure as heck didn't say that because they got a white paper out there that says the exact opposite, that overhead and profit is not considered in, in the makeup of individual line items within the system. What about no overhead and profit on a roofing? Since when? Well, since we agreed collectively to play along the stupid rules made up by other people with, that don't have our best interest in mind. Oh, you can no longer charge a service call if you're dispatched during the day. Since when? There's a during the day service call, a line item in Xactimate. Why can't I use that anymore? Oh, well, because the stockholders want more money. That's why I can't use it anymore. Travel. Oh, you're not going to pay me to go an hour out of my way with a crew of two to go service this place? Because your program doesn't allow service calls? Oh, free estimates. Oh yeah, because who wants to pay an independent adjuster to write an estimate when we've got all these willing contractors just driving across town at a moment's notice? Yeah, I will give you a competitive estimate. Uh, uh, uh. We gotta stop it. We're losing money. We're kicking ourselves. We're turning the heat up on our own stove. We're the frogs. We're in the water. Oh, waste is included in your line item. Oh, well, guess what? While we weren't looking, the waste factor on most of these exact main line items got turned down to 5%. Now, if you know what you're doing, like claims delegates and write loss, we know what we're doing. We write estimates every day in exact main. We go into these individual line items. We can go into the baseboard line item and say, no, there's 15% waste on this. We can tick that back up. We can turn that heat back down, make a little bit more margin, get our $4 back. Monitoring. Since when is one hour enough labor to go monitor a job properly? Heck, if it's next door, maybe. But you gotta drive across town and you gotta drive back. You gotta spend an hour on site at least. What about that? Should be three hours. No, you get one hour a day. You like that robot move? All these things have combined to make an unfriendly environment for restoration contractors and an untenable situation for all of us frogs sitting in the water, not realizing that this is not 1995 anymore. This is 2017 and the insurance companies have had a 15 year head start. They've always been ahead because they've always had the money, they've always had the research, and we have always been playing along until now. It's time to stop. Stop playing the game. Take your ball and go home. What's the Restoration 2.0 movement? It's about awareness. Awareness that, hey, we, we can, we, we're in bad, bad shape right now. And I'm stuttering because I'm pissed. We are in a terrible situation of our own doing. We gotta be aware of that. Situational awareness. All right, now what are we going to do? We're going to give ourselves the permission to say no. We don't have to take every shitty assignment that comes across our desk. We don't. Say no. Adjuster asks you to do something, asks you to do something that you know you're going to lose money on. Since when are we required to take projects that are, are done on a net loss? We know the math, we know the cost structure. We, I can tell you, just by looking at a job when it comes in the door, that's a loser. I don't want it. We get to choose our clients. If you're aware, and if you feel like you have permission to say no, I'm telling you right now, you do, you do. Education. Restoration 2.0 is about educating 
the restoration rebels of the world in not only proper technique, but but proper standards, proper education, proper training, uh, methodologies. And really, right now, it's about critical mass. We need your help. We need more rebels. We need more people willing to stand up and say, you know what, I'm sick and tired of this. It's getting too hot in here. I'm finding a different pot to jump into. Guess what? We're not gonna jump into another pot. We're gonna jump into a pond. It's gonna be our pond. Think about it. You are in charge of your destiny. But only if you choose to take it. You've got to take it. I am taking it. We are taking the reins back. Bring the power back. Rage Against the Machine. One of my favorite bands. You're a good business owner. You're a good manager. You're a good technician. You like to sleep at night. You like to go out and do good work for good people. It's time to get paid properly. It's time to get compensated fairly for our efforts. And it's time we all had a voice. And we all start talking about, talking out of our own playbooks, or our own talking points out of our own playbook. All right? Bless y'all. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Pass this video along. Copy the link. Post it on LinkedIn. Post it on Facebook. Spread the word. Restoration Rebels are here to stay. Restoration 2.0 Summit. End of September. Check it out. Till then. See y'all.